okay then we will start so today what we will be doing is we will be creating a chatbot uh, using a word document so actually uh, whatever may be the format uh, immaterial of the uh, format that you are using we can create it for this actually we are use, going to use google services as a third point so what you can do is you can just log in into google and go to console and start it so just go to google you can search as google console and once you get this you can just click on this just click console you're here okay so if you are not having a google account what you can do is you can just sign up with your mail id and you can do it so once you have signed up uh, actually it is totally free for uh, six months and for 300 dollars 300 dollars of charges is totally free for a new user so here once you have done this you have to you get the screen right the google console now uh, what is the intention is we will create a document using an a generative a tool and using that document we will upload into the system so the final product will be a website right i will be having a travel website in that travel website actually we will give a chatbot link for it so that automatically if uh, a person coming to my website and asking some questions on it it will collect the details from my word document which is there automatically it will get the answers from it and will show you so it could be multiple documents also but for our, our uh, issue by example we will take it as a one so my intention is i am going to use a uh, tool uh, generative ai tool so it is something like perfectcity.ai so this is a generative tool which i am going to use so i am just giving a prompt here i'm just pasting it i have kept it ready for it so as i said i am going to create this uh, tool that entire thing for a travel uh, thing so uh, asking questions and something like that so just i'm creating this i am planning as a uh, just i'm asking it to i am planning a four night five day stay on 14 jan could you please give uh, provide me a detail uh, literals for adding search and so additionally start with uh, a n time and so complete schedule and what will be the expense so i want to create a document for it so that, that i have given this and i just give enter so automatically so it my generative a creates it. so actually day wise what will be the schedule it is going to give me and these are the details that are so for five days it is giving it is also giving me the uh cost that is involved here maybe i can give it as uh, give both aed and inr if i give so again it creates it it recreates it and it gives me an inr also okay so now now my content is ready i am just copying it copying this content i am not reading what is there also just i am just copying here what i am trying to do is i am creating a dummy doc i am creating a document for it so just i am pasting it I think it has not copied the latest no, i have not copied my latest okay i'll copy just this one yeah i'll copy this just pasting it here so my word document is ready with all the things that is there for it okay so i'll just give it as five maybe i'll rename it as travel okay i'm just renaming it i give five 
So download as Microsoft Word document. It could be of any format. I just give it as a Microsoft Word document. So now my travel.doc file is ready. It could be a PDF also. Maybe I'll give it as if you need, I can just go on with a PDF document also. I just give it as a PDF. So my PDF document is ready. I just click on this. So it opens a PDF document for me with this. Okay. So now my document is ready. So just imagine like this, you have a document for your project also, which is a, a very large document. I'm taking this as a short document. If you have a, a project uh, document, which is having of hundreds of pages also, no issue, you can create this document like this. Now, coming to this here, what I need to do is in cloud, I need to create a project ID. Already I have created a project ID for this. Now I am trying to upload this into a storage device uh, in Google Cloud as a storage device. Some of you have, if you have used AWS, it is something like yes, S3 bucket. We say it as an S3 bucket, but here we will say it as a storage bucket. Here also we call it as a bucket storage bucket. I can just go to bucket. I'll just create a bucket for it. Just to I'm uh, not doing anything special. I'm just uploading the file that I have in my local system to this uh, bucket so that I can connect with my chatbot. That is the intention here. So I'm just giving create. Maybe I will give a name to create here. Maybe travel. Uh, say, for example, I'll give it as some document number 2001. Okay. I just give continue. Yes, region, I don't care for this. I just go and give create here. Enforce public access. So actually it is asking me uh, that public access is allowed for this or not. There is nothing secret in here. So I am not enforcing this. I will open it for private. So confirm. I mean, I will open it for public. That's what I mean. So now my bucket is ready. I can upload a document. So here I have created one sample file like this. You can create multiple up, uh, files also. Say for example, if we take a project document, uh, initially for creating a project, we may get a document. And after that, there could be a change request coming into it. And maybe to next to it, there will be another one change request which is coming to it. So like that, there could be multiple documents there. I'm not going to uh, take for it. So I'm just giving upload, upload files, upload files from my downloads. So this is my travel.pdf, right? So I'm taking it. I'm just giving this open. So I have uploaded my travel document here. Okay. So just I have uploaded my travel document here for the pandemics. Yeah. So now what I will do, my document is uploaded here. If I need, I can go and view it also. So just yeah, I have created a bucket. In that bucket, I have created a file. Now here I need to go and create an agent for it. So agent builder, if you'll get an, something like this called an agent builder. So just click on this. So you'll get something like this. Go and create. So agent builder. This is it. Go and create, create app. So I am trying to create a chat application. So here I have a chat. I'll just give it a select and I will give the name for it. Maybe I will give it as travel 2001, something like this. Agent name, this time I'll give it as travel 2021, something like this. 
region multiple region i'm just giving continue so i'm creating a agent for it okay so now i have created a agent that is a, it's a chat agent for this chat agent i need to create a data source from where it is it should take the data for processing it so i just give it as create data and here we just now created a bucket in cloud storage and we uploaded our file loop. so just give the select here you can see what are the types so unstructured data it could be a pdf html text it could be a word document or any type of it whatever may be the type of it you can upload here you can here it could fit as a json you can bring it could be a folder or file also for my case i have uploaded just a file so i'll just give it as a file in my case and i will browse it so it is this is the bucket name which we just created and this is my pdf i just give select so now i have linked my file so it is an individual file say in your case if you have a multiple document say that's what i said no for a project we may end up with 50 or 100 documents also in that case you can upload all the documents and link it to a folder also but it it will create more time the time required for it for processing will also be higher so to make it faster i have created a simple file and done for this but in your case if it is the folder that you want to give a entire entire project document that is possible and you can do it also okay i give like this and i give continue so now i have linked my so what is the data store name maybe i will give it as dubai travel i'm just creating it and i just give it as create so this is there now i have to select it and give create so which will create my the document we have linked now based on this it is creating my chatbot agent for it right so just click on this so you can see this is the document we have there activity I'm just clicking activity to see if everything is done. so it is saying import in progress so there is no errors as of now and the file import is in progress what is it doing the a is now analyzing the document that we have uploaded and based on the analysis it will prepare itself to answer or whatever the questions that we are going to ask so this is what it is going to do now so it is just analyzing my document it's since it's a small document it will just take a little bit of time it should come as uh, in, instead of in import in progress it should be as completed then only we can proceed right so let's just wait for it meanwhile we can create a website also and for that website which website we want to create it that also we can do it so it's just coming here So it's still important progress. Okay. Meanwhile, what I will do, I'll search a website for me. Maybe I'll get it as free. HT oh, email travel website. Yeah, this is the same. I'll just give. Just click on this. So I'll just take the first one. So this is totally free for us. Right click, open in a new tab. So this is uh, imagine this is your uh, website that you are building so actually you, this is your uh, website which helps for tourism and for different tourism itself so that could be multiple documents also coming over here so this is the, the beautiful thing which is here now i just click here if i need to download this i can give it as download so the entire file is with me now i open it in the folder so just right click 
maybe I will extract here. So I have extracted my file and locally now I'm running. Actually, it will be the index.html, right? I'm just clicking on this. So you can see our website, which is locally running from my desktop, right? It is there. So this we are ready. Just imagine that this is a tourist website, which is providing tourist package for different countries all over. And it is in trying to integrate a chat box with it so that once it is integrated with the chat box, you will get the complete thing. I think my video is um, uh, blocking the main area in where I'm trying to keep the chat box. So I'll just shuffle it a little bit. I'll move my thing to this side so that you are very clearly visible. Okay. So I just done that. Okay, coming back here. So you can see now, just I am refreshing here. You get a up arrow when you come down. So just when you click this, it goes up, right? Here we are trying to keep our chat bot so that uh, it will give me my uh, chat details. Okay, so this is the thing. Now coming back here. Coming back here. Where are we? Yeah, here. So just we'll refresh this. Just to see if everything is okay. Still, it's important progress. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll go to the manage. So this is preview. When I click preview. Still, it is not done. Maybe until then, we'll just press it here. So that's all. Our work is almost done. We need to now just check it. Okay. So when you come here, you will find something like an agent settings. Okay. Just click here and see why we are changing here. I am trading enable conversation history so that I can get the history of list of uh, people who have right what questions they have asked to my chat and what is the answers it has been given so everything can be seen here so just i am just enabling the history here and i give save so that i will be able to view whatever i have uploaded okay coming back just we will check if everything is okay now. Okay, we'll go for test agent. Just give hi. What are the Travel dates. I just give what are the travel dates just to see if everything is fine. No, it is not done. Still, it is in the creation mode. Okay, let it be. It's taking a little bit more time in creating it. Okay, meanwhile, so when you go for manage, you can just scroll down here. You will give, get something like integration. Okay. So just view integration. In this integration, if you just scroll down, it will say as dialog flow message on it. It's the suggested one. So I'm just giving as dialog flow message. Just connect this. Just I'm giving connect. Unauthorized access. Yes. Okay for me. Just a pop up, enable unauthorized API. Okay, I just give it as API. Now, just you can see the code is ready with me. I can just copy this and paste it into any of my website and I can do it. So, so just I will copy here. 
so copy maybe my downloaded file no? so where is it I'll just give it with notepad. I'll just scroll down. Maybe before this, I'll just paste it. So I'm saving it. And I close this. Now, when I just click on this page once again, you can see the chat. See, it is automatically coming here. I can just go and create uh, my questions, whatever I need. Okay, meanwhile, let's see whether, so that's it. The code is ready and we'll just see, try it now. So you get the same here, just giving it. I give, what are, oh, sorry. Just give what are my travel dates. Okay, and still it is not done. Just we'll check. taking a little bit more time than usual so this is the project that i have created project id in that only so i'll go to that agent i just give view so data travel activity still it is an import in progress should not take such a long time maybe based on actually your service so we are taking a free service that is the reason it just maybe takes some time Okay, so meanwhile, sometimes in between also it will start working. Let's see whether now I'm able to do it. I'll go to test agent again. yeah so now you can see that uh, upload is done so it is able to fetch my data hope you can see that so uh, when i go to publish i get this code i get try it now so just click on this so when is future museum Can you see this this totally gives it has read my document and it has give, started giving me answers for it so it is not only for this uh, we have created just a chatbot say for example if you want to create an ivr also i can create an ivr i need to get a mobile number for it mobile number we can integrate this and automatically so this voice will uh, uh, when i ask a question it will read this out 
and speak me. So it will be something like a live interaction with a person at the opponent. Uh, you might have seen that uh, automatically you will get no, but this will be a little bit more realistic than it. Did you get that? Was it clear? So now I have this no. So this is what. I'm just clicking here. This is the same uh, thing which I have locally also here, which I have integrated. So from here, when I give this, you can see the same. So I'll be getting here in my website. Since it, this is in my local, it is not, uh, it may not work certain times. But same way in this bucket, I can upload this file to my bucket and create this link and produce you can get it everything uh, running in your website. So it is quite simple. So we tried it with a single document. So based on, uh, you might have seen it was a very small document, but still it has taken me a little bit of time, right? Uh, so maybe I'll just open and sh share, show you the document so that you can also see it. So my downloads. So this is just a four page document. For this four page document, it has uh, given me, say for example, what is the total estimation cost? If this is my question, I can just try it here. Uh, I'm just coming to my agent once again. I just ask, what is my total expense? So it gives me the total estimation which is coming here. You can see that. So this is it. Uh, now, what is the advantage of this? When you are creating this multiple documents, you can use this version as also. Say, um, in starting of my project, I get one document. After that, I get a change request. So then the actual master document gets updated. So I can ask to merge these two documents and cre create an updated document. So with the help of AI, I can do that and that will get merged. So now continuously you get 50 or 100 documents, you upload all and each time when you give an update, you say that create an updated document. So the final document which you get will have all the questions. So what is the intention here is now I have created a document which is a project document say 100 or 200 pages. Now, if I've created a code also, I have written a web application for you. I have created an application using this code. In that case, what I can do, I can give that Bitbucket link also into it so that for this particular page, where is the code? Now, when I ask question, if there is a change request, now the final document is ready. Now, there is the bank is asking a change that for this particular uh, entity alone, do a change, maybe for an EMI. I change the uh, thing. So automatically this will analyze my code and it will say these are the points which needs to be modified and updated. So we get the latest, uh, we get the recommendation also of the code and what are the places it is that which can be changed. What It also identifies the places where the code should be changed. So like this, the entire process can be done. Just to give you a thought process, I have given this. Usually what it is done is it is all uh, you might have seen that when you're creating a website, uh, you uh, say, for example, you are inquiring for a website for a particular thing, uh, maybe for a travel. As soon as you submit your details and asking for a call, you instantly get a call nowadays, right? So this is done using this. You can integrate it with an IVR and you can integrate with a voice. This AI analysis, it will be something similar the person who is speaking in the opponent will be, you can set it as an, instead of a robo, uh, which is speaking, you can create an office setup also so that you get that office noise also, that multiple calls are going on and a person is. So when we are trying to interact with them, the end user, when he tries to interact, he will not feel that that is a robo, which is automatic generative AI that is answering. 
instead he will think it is a real call coming from that office and it so that is the clarity we will get from these things hope you got and enjoyed this maybe there is if there is any questions we will go on so i can see certain questions can you see any analysis on what topics users are interested with the bot so that is whatever the topic you know so whatever the topic you are creating you can go on with that uh, it has no limitation now if you take for generative ai the limitation stands when is, remains with your creativity or image ends with what you are thinking the lim uh, whatever you want to do now the tools are available you can just go on and create it uh, it displays only text is it possible to get output in yes voice yes it is possible to get output in voice if you go here you can set up an ivr agent also so just uh, coming here but only thing is you need to integrate it with, with a mobile number uh, then you can go on with and create an I a agent also so integration you can do so just see as a phone gateway in this you can go for a voice ivr voice response also hope you are able to see this yes that is possible we can create we need to integrate it with a mobile number that's it. any possible ask picture yes it is of any format you can give even picture and ask questions also that is also possible in this okay then thank you actually i think very few have joined because there was a small issue in my url because i thought of testing it and unfortunately i disconnected it and i need to reset the url i think that is the last minute change so people have not joined but anyway thank you very much for joining we will meet in one more session very short thank you thank you all hope you enjoyed it how to implement for personal ea yeah so actually this is a personalized one no? i have created a thing if you have some personalized uh, content with you you can upload the same and you will get it. okay then thank you thank you all meet you in the next session bye